Hello again from Coquel TV Repair. This is Bobby, and I have yet another video of a FlashNand EEPROM firmware. Uh, this time for Visio E422 VA returned to us uh, with a claim that it's defective. The reason that stayed on eBay is changed my mind, uh, but uh, the note that we received back says no, it is defective. And as soon as I saw that it has actually been soldered, even though it was very carefully cleaned, uh, I gotta give the buyer that. But as soon as you see the residue from the, let's see if I get it on a good light here. Yep. As long as soon as you see that residue there, uh, and you can easily tell if you look closely. This camera is not good enough to show. Uh, but those legs have been soldered and cleaned afterwards. You can see the solder left on them. Uh, you can see how shiny they are compared to brand new IC. I will need a microscope probably. This is a brand new IC. Uh, they are not as shiny. They are shiny, they are clean, but they are nothing like the ones that have been on a board. Anybody who is doing this for a living can tell the difference instantly, I'm sure. And so can we. And so that IC was uh, used uh, and there is a claim that it's defective. I'm not much of a claim person, I like facts. So here's what I'm going to show you. Uh, moving away from my desk in the meantime. This is a testing unit. This is the IC. It's still here. I should have taken it in my hand so that you can still see. You wouldn't be surprised if, if somebody comes up with the idea that we are faking all this and wasting time just to show that something is not as it is. Uh, we've heard all kinds of things. Yeah, that's the one with the residual. So I'm taking that making sure that it's properly aligned and I'm going to put it into our testing stand. You can see the residue on the back. And let me see where's the first leg. It's on the top and it's going to be turned this way. So I'm going to do this as well as I can do single-handedly. Close the lid. Close it and turn on. Uh, we have a Google Chromecast hooked up to HDMI 1. Now let's see what do we show. Oh yeah, uh, we have the LED on the back. It's uh, flashing which means the TV is initializing. Uh, some of them flash less than others. Um, some of them need merely 15 seconds, some of them need 30, 35. My guess is what is happening is the firmware is having a checksum of uh, the organization of the file system in the NAND flash and it's just going and reorganizing properly, searching for bad sectors. If the checksum doesn't match with whatever the condition was at, at shut off time, it's just doing initial uh, initialization and then scanning or something to that sort. The truth is I don't know what exactly it does, but I know it will eventually stop. And uh, sometimes they power on the TV immediately. Most of the time it just stops and waits for the user to uh, power on the TV as, uh, as they normally would with a power button. But sometimes, I guess it depends on how they were shut down. Uh, sometimes they would start up immediately. Now this, this one stopped which is what they do most of the time. That is what I would call the normal behavior. Let me see if I have a busy remote. I don't, so I'm going to power it from the button on the side. Okay, it became light. And voila, what we have here is a visual logo, which will be followed. I believe I left it on HDMI 1 at our testing unit. Uh, you should see the Oh, that's not... Oh yeah, we changed the password, that's right, we changed the password uh, of the Wi-Fi 
cell on Friday, so yeah, it's not connected. But you can see this is coming up. Uh, let me show you the buttons and the menu. This is input. MLMP profile guest, HDTV, blockbuster, one on. So this is the EEPROM that was returned to us with a claim that it wasn't functional. It was used. This breaches our terms and conditions. We simply cannot afford to sponsor people's attempt to repair their TVs and, and diagnose them. We offer a repair service for that board. We offer repaired boards. Just understand, people, as much as we want, we cannot afford to be taking these things back. Walmart might be. They're making lots of profit. This is a different business. We don't want to be. We are not Walmart. We are not Amazon. We don't want to be. We can't be. We are not trying to be. Neither are successful nor as popular. We have our, our reasons for doing business the way we do, and the listings are out there and they're clear. Uh, if you want to learn to detect those, and actually there is no proper way to detect those EPROMs and the listings say so. You are taking a shot in the dark, you decide that you need that EPROM, we don't tell you that you do. There are people who want it, there are people who are right that they need it, uh, and there are people who are not. Don't blame us. And uh, you know, consider the simple fact that we have boards for sale that are fixed and working, uh, or at the very least that we have many sold, they may not be available at the moment because people sometimes don't forget them, I don't uh, return the old ones. Uh, consider the fact that we have repair services and there are a lot of feedbacks saying that we were successful fixing the boards. We do know how to fix do those boards. Uh, there are people who report that, you know, the EPROMs that they bought were good. Um, this is no no attempt to argument or to, prom to prove who is great and who is not. It's as simple as the rules are there, just obey them or don't go in business. I mean, you expect us to obey the rules, you expect us to be sending the stuff that works, you expect us to be repairing the boards that you send here. If we say once soldered on a board, we don't take it back and we don't give credit, that is how it is. Get a socket. You can buy them on our website, you can buy them on eBay, you can buy them on a lot of places. Learn to do it properly. And uh, at the very least, you know, the rules say if it wasn't sold on a board, you can return it, then you can return it. You know, if we can't detect that you've used it, uh, we can't say anything. But if we sell that to someone, that EEPROM that is used here, if we sell it to someone now, uh, they will say this was used. And they will be right. They will say, you, you, you cheated me. Uh, and they wouldn't care much if we will explain how this went and, and so on and so forth. So, no return on this one. Thank you.